Joey here, Eat, Sleep, Box, and Repeat, joined by Ethan George. Ethan, what's the overriding emotion having just got your professional debut under your belt on an MTK Global card? Relief. Relief. Lord of stress off my shoulders. It's been hell of a roller coaster year, and I can't wait to have a week off. I haven't had a week off for about two years now, so be good to have more than one day off. <laughs> you talk about relief. Is there an element of frustration? People know that you can yeah, bang. Yeah, yeah, there was a big frustration. Um... I'm just glad to get the rounds in, to be honest with you. I knew I could take him out within the first 30 seconds of being in there because I was just catching him with everything, but I thought I wouldn't learn anything off that, so I just stayed on my job. That's the only punch I threw to use my job. Just kept him on the job, got the rounds in, got the work out, and feel good. Very skillful fighter for your first fight out. Do you feel that that's like a, a really good benchmark for you now, that you've got a good skillful one in, you can ready to go again? Yeah, ish, like, but because I was rusty, I, um, I was just... It's just, it's just, that's just the beginning, like, do you know what I mean? That's just a little shade of what I can do, do you know what I mean? Talking about doing a lot more, what are the next plans? You've obviously got, you must have plans in the pipeline. Is it just to get out regularly now, build up that card and, and build your yeah. sort of record? And uh, just, just get a few more fights over the next year, push for tight those, hopefully get a promoter on a big, big deal, and then... Bob's on go, but I'll have to get a few stoppages first for that, so I won't just be going through the motions next time. Get a few more highlights on the reel. You had about four cancelled fights coming into this, and the one that was looking most realistic was a fight in Liverpool, but is it, you talk about relief, is it also a joy to actually make your home debut in front of your, you know, in front of your yeah. fans? Yeah, it was, a, it was a blessing in disguise, really, but I would rather have had the four rounds under my belt in Liverpool and then come home to a big show and put a show on, but... It is what it is, and just move on to the next one, do we? Just quickly then, you've got Tony Borg in the corner. He's obviously master, um, master tactician. Yeah. What's he telling you in the gym, and what do you think he's going to tell you come Monday? Well, he tells me to lay off the power a lot, because I, I just throw fucking bombs all the time. But stay on my job, move my head more, just get, he gets, re, gets you really fit. And uh, he's just a brilliant coach altogether, so... And by the time this goes out, you've got stable mates who will be fighting, um, you know, on cards coming up tomorrow night or Saturday night, I should say, in Swansea. Uh, Joshua John's fighting. You've got Gavin Gwynn, obviously, people like that. How do you think they're going to do? Give a quick summary for them for me. Uh, I think it's going to be a clear score for all of St. Joseph's. We're all going to come home with a win and then we're all back in the gym next week or the week after. Sounds good. Ethan, have a good Christmas. Congratulations on your pro debut. Looking forward to seeing you out again. Thank you very much. Top man. Nice to see you. Top man.